Hey guys, Jackie, welcome back to a spring haul. It's going to be a very affordable one from Shein. As you can tell here, I have a whole bunch of goodies. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. I'm going to go through basics first. And the first item is actually this white uh, little bralette tank top that I'm wearing now. As you can tell, I'm wearing a kind of dark colored bra and it is not see-through whatsoever because it is double lined. And I also got it in black as well. The material is like really soft and silky. It's kind of like that scuba swimwear material it's really nice i think it'd be pretty breathable too but here's the same top in black i just thought i'll show you the black one as well it's super super nice double lined it's honestly like a 10 out of 10 except for the fact that like the straps kind of turn by themselves i'm not sure if you can tell but besides that like no other complaints i really love how it looks and feels it's just like so silky on i honestly love the fabric i can't stop talking about how silky the fabric is and the fact that it's double lined is such a good steal because these tops are like a few dollars each so i think it should be like a definite staple in your closet as well and then i'm super excited about these next two tops i saw on tiktok somewhere that it's kind of a skims dupe i got this in a sage color it's super nice also the same material as the bralettes it's like this really silky material i love it the material feels super light and i just can't wait to wear it in the summer and it is a regular length that's not super cropped. I think it comes down to about like over the belly button area, which I could appreciate. Here is the sage green. I really love the color. I think this is so flattering, especially on like olive skin tones like me. I love how it looks and I love how it feels. It's so silky and breathable. But my only complaint would be the shoulders kind of ride up when like you're moving about. Like if I were to like, you know, do some arm reaches and whatsoever like it kind of rides up like this the sizing is a little confusing because this is a size small which is like one size up than what i usually get i found that i kind of have to constantly pull down my sleeves which is kind of like not a vibe and it also stretches out the collarbone so i'm gonna definitely return this for a medium instead so i would suggest like going up one size or even two sizes the shoulder area just kind of looks super unflattering how goofy would i look if i'm like walking around like this which is like not the vibe i'm going for but i would love it if they have these in like a long sleeve i think it would be such a vibe in like winter time where you want to look like a gym rat but like you're really not but like you're just trying to be comfortable you know what i'm saying so this is definitely a 9 out of 10. i got the same exact shirt in this light blue Blue. this is the dusty blue color i am in love with these colors it's so flattering on and i just feel like this is kind of a staple for summertime where you don't know what to wear so you just pair this with like a pair of shorts or something and call it a day i'm super excited so here's the top and baby blue i am in love with the color i love this color i can't like shut it enough baby blue chef's kiss it's kind of like a dry fit material if you will but like i said the same complaint is the shoulders kind of don't fit you right i really like this as well also a 9 out of 10. i've been getting into like whites recently because i've learned that white is really flattering on me so i got another white top this one is really cute it is a short sleeve it also has like this um button effect but it's not buttoned it's just like sewn like that it's a v-neck notch top and what's really cute is that it has like this lettuce detailing all over like the collar area the sleeve area super nice and this one's actually from their daisy collection if you guys know and follow my hauls daisy is actually like this really nice branch of theirs um it's super nice quality everything is just like better material so this one is like in this kind of thick ribbed white material i hope that it's not too see-through but i just can't wait to throw this on for like a nice summer outfit i feel like this would be a nice basic top without it being too basic if you know what i mean so here's the white ruffle top it is super flattering on i really love how it looks and how it fits i love how the fabric is thick enough so that you don't really see any undergarments i have like a pretty dark bralette on right now so it's kind of like not that see-through so i really like that i definitely recommend a daisy line because it's super affordable such high quality and this one is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me okay, the next top is also kind of cute it has like ruffled detailing similar to the lettuce top that i just showed you but it is a tank top with ruffles at the straps I really liked it on the model, but I just kind of wish it's a little shorter. I feel like for me, this is kind of an awkward length. It's not totally like full length, but on me, it kind of like sits at the hip area, which is kind of weird. But I do like the top part of it. I think square neckline is super flattering, so I can't wait to style this as well. Okay, so here is the black top. I am in love with the details. Like look at the ruffles and look at the square line. I love square line for like the itty bitty because it kind of like really accentuates everything else around your collarbone and draws attention away from like 
the boobies that we don't have so it's a plus for me but it's kind of like an awkward length like it's almost to like the hip area which is giving me like 2000s Aeropostel vibes where everyone's wearing like super long tank tops okay that's like not my vibe it is a vibe but it's not my vibe so I would give this like a 8 out of 10 I might just like crop it myself so the only thing that's out of theme here is this bodysuit I thought it's really cute and elegant I might actually wear it today I have a uh, omakase dinner planned it is a kind of fold over off shoulder long sleeve bodysuit okay that's a mouthful it's in this like really nice gray waffle knit i don't have anything waffle knitted i don't think so i feel like this texture is nice to incorporate into my wardrobe it's long sleeve it's kind of like in a semi thick material so it would be really nice for the weather nowadays in new york city it tends to get super cold at night so this would be like a really nice night fit so here is the off shoulder waffle knit bodysuit it fits really really well but i do recommend going up a size because the sleeve area is kind of tight for a small I really love how the fold over is it's actually the exact same thing on the back so you kind of like alternate which shoulder you want to be off shouldered and i think the texture and detail is really nice to add like a little bit of oomph to every boring outfit and this one is definitely a 10 on 10 for me Okay, moving into florals. I love my florals, especially for like the warmer season, spring, summer. I love. First hat that I got is this really nice like baby doll. As I don't know why, but recently I've been getting like super into baby doll style. I think it's super flattering on, and I just love it so much. It's like a V neck in the front. It has an elastic bodice, so it's gonna fit most body types. And I just love the ruffles again at the straps. Oh, it's such loving textures floral print is like the right amount of floral it's not like overly powering i love ditzies i just think it's so cute on i can't wait for spring i am absolutely in love but i just don't know what kind of pants to wear this with because i tried it on with like high waisted pants like mom jeans and it makes me look like super rectangular ish so i'm thinking like maybe i should just wear like black skinny jeans or something because with like baby doll kind of styles you kind of lose your hips and your waist in a process but i just am in love with like the top portion it's just super cute super flattering and i can't wait to wear this out another floral thing that i got is actually um this halter it's kind of hard to show this goes around your neck and then you have like a crop top the print is kind of reminding me of like spongebob but i got this with the intention of wearing it to my friend's housewarming it's hawaiian themed i don't know i thought like pineapples for hawaiian theme and then spongebob and then one thing went to another and here i am with this top <laughs> honestly i am not in love with the material it's super thin it looks and feels super cheap and i'm not sure if i'll be wearing this but when i bought this i had this like cream pair of pants i want to wear I don't know we shall see honestly i hate it i'm not even going to try to sugarcoat this because there's like so many things wrong with this top first of all material i just hate how it feels it feels so so cheap like something for 21 with her out what was i thinking um the material is super thin the print is kind of like spongebob vibe slash like totally spice vibe i mean honestly totally spice is not that bad of a vibe that's a vibe idea was there execution was not so this is gonna be a 2 out of 10 for me going on with the hawaiian themed i also did get this other romper um well jumpsuit because it's like long pants but the front is kind of like a wrapped over um top it has like a button a zipper on the back for closure and then it's long like these are pants it looks nice on a model but I do not love the material. It's like this really stiff linen. It's gonna be super tough to like sit around and walk in and it's definitely gonna leave wrinkles everywhere if you do get up from like a sitting position. So this is, I don't know, it's like a maybe for me but I do really need something that's like Hawaiian themed and I feel like this is more on point than the other top. So for now, this might be going for me. It also does come with a belt but I feel like if it does look nice at the waist, I might not use a belt because honestly, the belt looks a little tacky. It looks super cheap. It's plastic. I'm going to see how it fits in the trim portion and let me know, guys, like, is it a go or no? Moment of truth, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I feel like it fits really nicely at the waist area. I don't really need a belt and you can already tell, like, Ooh, she got like curves 
but I just hate the material. It is exactly what I think of it is. It's so stiff. It honestly feels like my scrubs and it's not the best feeling in the world. It's super stiff and I think I need to go shopping again because this is not doing it for me. Like, what do you guys think? I am not hating it. This might be like my last option, last resort, but I just like, okay, first of all, what's with these sleeves? Like you could see everything that's going on here, not cute. And I just feel like it's so like, like what honestly just kind of like a 4 out of 10 for me I would wear this if I can't find anything else between now and then the last thing for Hawaiian themed I'm actually like the most disappointed about I don't know what was going on in my head but um, the print seems pretty on point it is a halter body contrast does the print not scream like Hawaii I feel like this is such a Hawaiian thing but I don't love the material at all. Like, it feels super cheap. It's also not similar texture as, like, the tops. But this is, like, single-lined. And it just feels that much cheaper. It feels more like a cover-up, honestly. But this is not looking hot right now. And hopefully I can find something in time because our housewarming is next week. So, like... I don't know. Okay, honestly, I don't hate the dress. I just wish, wish that it was a different material because this has like good potential, but it's just material is not it. It feels super, super cheap. It feels like slinky material, and I know slinky feels nice and all, but it's like super thin quality. Not my vibe. But the print is really cute. I think I would really nail it with the Hawaiian themed if I wore this, but it's just like, I don't know, like there's not much to it. It's an open bag, and I'm sure if you're up close, you could tell how cheap it looks too, so it's really not my vibe. I'm not trying to go like skimpy and all for the housewarming because lots of people are going to be there, friends and family as well, so this is like not appropriate. So I'll give this like a 7 out of 10. It's cute but like not that cute oh my god it's giving me like barbie vibes okay so back to regular programming i did pick up this really pretty ditzy romper it is blue super cute off shoulder i love it and ruched bust also love it has a tie in the front well straps from the front the tie in the back but it's like multi-layered ruffled if that makes sense it looks super cute on a model again and they're actually like shorts so I think it's gonna look super cute. I have high hopes for this one. The material is a little like thick and heavy. It's not thick, but the amount of layers that's on here, it makes it feel heavy and thick. So I don't know, maybe for like a spring moment, not really for summer, because you're gonna set balls in this and I'm in love. I can't wait to see how this looks. Okay, so here is the romper and honestly it's a bit of a letdown because now that i'm looking in the viewfinder it kind of looks like pajama from like the bottom half if that makes sense it's giving me like giant baby vibes i don't know but i do love the upper half like the off shoulder is really flattering and i do love that the waist is customizable there is a tie at the back so you could cinch it however much you want don't like the whole like pants situation like it looks super cheap i mean granted i could have ironed it out but I feel like the figure itself is not the most flattering. But this is kind of like a 3 out of 10 for me. And then something that's more up my alley, you know, I'm like super into like the neutrals, beiges too. And I found like this really cute dress. I don't really love this little frilly thing on top. It makes it look kind of cheap, like a rug. The print, absolutely amazing. The color, absolutely beautiful. And it is a midi. This one is actually double lined, so I can appreciate that. And it comes with adjustable straps and invisible zipper. And I feel like this is such a staple for like spring, summertime. If you don't know what to wear, just wear a dress. Honestly, that's like the way to go for me. I hate putting outfits together, so that's gonna save me a lot of time. Okay, so here's this Dissy Prince dress, and I love the print and all, but it is a little see-through even though it's double lined. So I would recommend wearing like really light colored panties or like nude panties if you will. And something I failed to notice when I was ordering these is that it's kind of like a asymmetrical cut. It's kind of like a U shaped at the hem. It's kind of like a weird cut and it's not the most flattering in my opinion. But I do really love the print. I think it's like super flattering on. But it's just something about the hem. I might just like rehem it myself. And surprisingly, like the little frills at the top is not that noticeable. So it could really pass as like a really cute dress. And then going on that whole neutral trend, I also did end up picking up the skater dress. It does look a lot better on the model. It comes with elastic straps, which I did not expect because usually with uh, Shein stuff, 
they're not really elasticy. So it comes with adjustable straps that are elastic so it's definitely gonna fit all types of shoulders i think the bust is kind of like a little different than all my other satiny dresses and then i mentioned it's satin kind of it is single line but this fabric is kind of thick so i don't think it's gonna be too see-through okay so here is the skater dress i really really like how it looks surprisingly it doesn't look that weird but i do wish that it was a romper instead i feel like with this little cut going on i would be really cute if they were actual pants it is disappointing because i do love how everything looks but because it is single lined you kind of seem under peeking through overall it's a really cute dress like i feel like the thing t straps are so elegant uh it's just everything overall is a 10 out of 10. wow am i getting into skater dresses again who am i last but not least i did end up getting something that's kind of a little hard to dress due to the material it is this um chocolatey brown knitted bodycon dress you see why it's a little confusing like the thickness of this material is just like insane. I cannot imagine wearing this in the summertime. I'm just gonna sweat balls. I really love it. I feel like this will elevate any outfit. Super, super nice. I love the color. I think this is so in right now. And please excuse that mark. It's just like from it being folded. It just goes all the way down. I think this might be like a maxi or like a really long midi. The way how the dress is made, you see that little dip over there? It's gonna cinch and accentuate your body, so I'm super excited to wear this as well. Okay, so here's the dress. I am absolutely in love. It's so flattering on, and oh my god, I just love how the color complements my skin tone. This is definitely a 10 out of 10. I have not found anything from Shein that fits quite like this one. I love the ripped material. It really adds a little texture to the outfit and I can't wait to wear this out and that's it for today's video let me know which one you would be purchasing I'm gonna have all the links down below and let me know which outfit I should go with for the Hawaiian themed I'm leaning more towards the linen jumpsuit but I don't really know it might be really hot so let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next one